how to use Apollo.io for LinkedIn automation. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can use your platform which is Apollo right here with some LinkedIn automation. Recently they have added a lot of automation that you can set on Apollo and make some assignment to your team then they will ca they can execute the the tasks uh, comfortably. The first thing that you need to do is to go to apollo.io, sign in for your account if you have an account. If not, you have to sign up. Then you are going to add the projects and also you are going to add your team members. The first thing that you need to do after you have signed up or signed in for the Apollo, you are going to scroll right here on this menu until you see tools and workflows tools and workflows, you click simply on tasks. Here we have the tasks that you are going to add. In order to add that task, I'm going to click on plus sign new task. Here we have the new task set. We have to associate this task to someone or to something. When you click on it, we have the three options, contact, account, or deal. You are going to select whatever you have, for example, the account or for a deal or also here I'm going to add it to the contact since I have added, I think, some contacts. Here to select the contact, all you have to do is to click on this drop down menu. Here we have the contact signed in. We have here the task title. I'm going to add a task title. Let's uh, add it like that automation like that for linked in first I'm going to put this as first step and here we go now let's go ahead to the tasks and we are going to share a choose the type of task that we have we have call manual email action item and also we have the four options for the automation for linkedin we have send connection request send message view profile interact with profile i'm going to set the first one send connection request here the assignee you can use uh, the assignee from your team for this account i have only one one member I'm going to select it, which is me. And here we have the due date. You can go ahead and click on the due date and select from this calendar the date on which this uh, account or this task will be due. I'm simply going to choose, for example, here June 21. And the hour I'm going simply to select. Let's go ahead and put a, a working or shifting hour. 10 a.m. maybe it is good and here for the priority we have to choose from these three priorities simply you are going to make it medium if it is not a persistent task and if it is a very persistent or important task from the beginning of the uh, workflow that you have set and the project or deals you are going to set it high now for the connection request message we have some options you can go ahead and add some dynamic variables. Click simply right here. And I'm going to add a variable right here. Let's say that I'm going to add my first name, which is the sender first name and my last name, sender last name. And then I'm going simply to add my email. Let's go ahead and surf right here, sender email. This is the first task. Then I'm going to click on enter, go to the other line here, or you can put the sender email right here, click right that. And here we have to put the first name of the client, first name, last name. And you also are going to set the recipient email. This is very important. And for here, for the first name, last name, you should put the company that you are working with or you are in 
click simply a company and here we have everything set up. Now I'm going to add a message. For example, hi, uh, I wish that you are doing good. Good, like that. And here a comma. I wanted to connect like that with you so we can grow for example our our communities or our connection connections like that connections together together like that here we have this message simply you want for example you want be disappointed. Point like that. And simply click on the point. Here we have best regards. Regards. And a point. You can add a snippet. It is very easy to add some snippet. If you don't have already some snippets, you are going to create new. And here you can put a meeting if the person is interested and you see that the person will go ahead with this message or interact you can set a meeting and here finally you are going to add a note type the note right here I'm going to type a note which is make for example make some steps here we have these steps are uh, multiple emails like that emails emails and send them and send them them together like that simply I'm going to close the parenthesis and here we go together Create the tasks and congratulations. We have successfully put the task. You can go ahead and skip that task or make it complete. Here the member is assigned and also the task is clear. You can go ahead and play around with adding some new tasks. For example, for the LinkedIn send message. You, are, you can also send some messages without the connection. And here you have to set up your LinkedIn account. You have to connect your LinkedIn account on the settings and you will be good to go. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and see you soon on the next one.